Yo yo, welcome to another video regarding the Portapack H2 Hacker F1. Uh, today we are looking at the Mayhem 2.0 firmware that just came out on the 16th. Um, so uh, this video will be coming out today on the 19th, I believe it is. Um, so let's get going. So what we're going to do is we're going to go head over to Portapack. Porta, Porta, Porta pack mayhem and we're gonna go down to latest right there all right so what is new they now are installing the apps on the micro sd card so they can fit more apps on the device good idea a new file format that contains both firmware and sd card apps to make updating super easy uh, let's see here working usb serial communication with when in porter pack mode so that's pretty cool one click updating using https hack rf app awesome new usb serial commands a bunch of bug fixes update settings apps settings editor encoder options data i'm sorry date config mode brightness etc oh good um the brightness is one that i've been wanting actually because uh for those of us that use our devices at night um, I don't like blowing out my vision too much. Um, so that's kind of cool to see that brightness is going to be enabled. Uh, then BLE apps and then raw auto record and replay. Good deal. And then a brand new website. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and head over to that HackerF website. Let's check it out. All right. So now it looks like we can update our device from the web browser. So we're going to try that out. Okay. We're going to grab our... USB-C to micro USB. That goes in upside down. All right. We are connect HUD. So connect device. And you can see that on my desktop, it brought up Portapack Mayhem. We're gonna go ahead and connect to that. Looks like you're using a Mac. If you come across any issues, please let us know. Very smart. Because yes, I am using a Mac. All right. Oh, we can now do DFU mode, which we discussed last week. I cannot talk today. We can now do DFU mode uh, right off the screen here. Oh, there we go. So if we got to read the fine print down there, make sure you're running at least stable 2.0 nightly. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and unplug the porter pack. Kick this guy off. Take our knife here and Grab our USB dinghy, pop that in there. This side is USB-C. Let's go ahead and go over to that folder. We're gonna go ahead and just go to the contents of this folder. Command A, drag and drop into the area, apply all and replace. And this will take a hot minute. Now, since this video is going to post um, today on the 19th, I know that our next segment in the Porter Pack is the audio portion. We'll be getting that today as well, later on today. So that should be posting by tomorrow, hopefully. And if not, it'll post by Wednesday. But we also will be discussing some antennas um, because I get asked quite frequently on antenna choice. And we're going to go over antennas and which antenna to use per what you want to do because not and not all antennas are, are created equal. So we will be going over that as well. All right, we are copied over. I'm gonna close that. So we are in the HackerF folder here before we pop it out and go back into the actual unit. Uh, let's go down and just see what they have added. So we got ADSHB, AIS, <clears throat> got apps, there we go. So we got AFSK, analog uh, TV, that's for SSD, or I'm sorry, no, that's analog TV. Uh, we got the spam, we got the calculator, we, and then everything else looks more or less the same. We got Bluetooth receive, transmit, we got our captures, we got our um, firmware. So don't forget that if you are uh, just going to drop the card in there, you don't need to download, download the actual firmware too. That actually is part of the package that you get when you download um, that release. If you go down here and you go to your... Uh, your, your larger file, this uh, Mayhem 2.0 copy to SD, that has your firmware in there. If you're just wanting to update just a firmware and no additional parameters that are may have been changed in your apps, then just go with the actual 2.0. So 
something to consider there. Logs, looking glass, playlist, remote, sample, settings, splash. Uh, remember, the splash is where your cool little graphics are at, right? All your fun stuff, okay. Um, SSTV, wave, and then the whip calculator. So, good deal. We're going to go ahead and eject that card. All right, we're going to power this guy on. Maybe. Utilities. Go Flash Util. We're going to go that first one right there, that port pack Mayhem 2.0, and we're going to hit yes. Now we got our little TX light blinking up top, roughly 15 seconds, and then... <clears throat> And then this unit should reboot, and then it's rebooting. There's your little lit up screen, and then we are now into the hacker rep portback mayhem. So let's go ahead and cycle through some areas here and see what is going on. So we've got our receive, which looks pretty standard. We got the ADSSB. Oh, that's right. AIS is boats. Um, so we got APRS, we got audio, Bluetooth receive, the meters, level pox sag, radio sounds, <coughs> sound. Recon search, TPMS cars, so all of this looks like it stayed the same. To utilities, so we got our antenna length. That is a calculator for your antenna. If you want to figure out what antenna to use for what frequency. Our file manager, frequency manager. Okay, so um, back in the settings area, okay. Let's go back up top, go to settings, okay. Let's go ahead and scroll down, and you can go down again. There's QR code, user interface, brightness. So there's your brightness. That's kind of cool. So we are at 50% right now. Let's enable brightness. And I think you just more than likely are just going to use your little dial here. So 50% is the max. And it looks like they are in increments. 12.5, 25, 50%. So good deal and then new color or sorry menu color so this is kind of cool i saw this on the discord area so we can now change our menu color so if we go to menu we can go red level green level blue um, so we can just adjust these and you can now change your own color that is pretty cool cool i like that all right so that so far it looks like the basis of it. Now that we're here into 2.0 though, let us pop it back onto our computer and see what we can change. And we're gonna go back to connect our device. There we are, port pack Mayhem, connect, loading. Drink some coffee while we wait. All right, so now we should be live on screen, right? So if I go over here and I pop up in a menu, don't know what that did. Let's go, to, let's go back, I've got nothing coming in through my Port it back. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we are moving around, but I cannot see it on my screen for some reason. Okay, so we can control the port -a pack from our computer. I am having an issue though on my screen. You can see over here that my area is blocked, but on this camera, you can actually see that we are controlling some stuff, right? Not sure. So it looks like maybe it was a brightness that I accidentally hit. Whenever I exited out of there, I may have saved it to that 12.5. So now I can see, you now you can see better on here. But however, on my actual computer screen, you can still cannot see. So let's go ahead and refresh this page. Okay, so there we are. We are in our menu. You can see that. Now let's say if I want to go back. Okay, so you can, you can use the mouse. And then let's say I want to go to receive. All right. And let us go look at, uh, let's go back actually, let's go to scanner. And it could be the color I, ch it could be the color I chose is why it's not really showing, but even on my screen right now, it does look kind of dim. So let's just pop in this antenna. We're gonna pop in the standard telescopy. Let's zoom this out a bit so we can see more gooder. Everything's backwards on my monitor, so I am sorry for always going back and forth, right? Huh. Interesting. Okay, so I guess I'll just do by hand. We'll go to C band. I'm gonna select that guy. All right, so now we're there. The speaker just kicked on. I'm gonna drop down my volume. Let's hit refresh on the live screen and see what happens. There we go. Okay, so if you hit this little refresh area down here, we can then refresh to the screen that we're currently on so you can see that we're stuck on 
that frequency of 25.275. Lower our VGA to get that scanner going faster. And let's see what happens. We probably won't grab anything, but that's fine because we are inside. So, um, so overall, this is pretty impressive. I do like the fact that you can kind of see your files more um, and that you can manage your firmware now. Uh, I wonder now if I go to this latest nightly and select that. And if I go to update latest nightly, what happens now? So, okay, so we got the CH touch uh, C2, no open file. So I'm wondering if you had to have that file downloaded in your computer already. Let's try that. So well, let's go back to that. Uh, latest nightly, we're gonna go to the SD card, right? That one is the one I want. And that download is now complete. So let's go ahead and close this, manage firmware. All right, refresh this page. Okay, so we're going to unplug this guy, plug it back in, let it do its thing. Now we're going to go over here and hit refresh. There we go. You are connected. Now, if we go down here to manage firmware, update to latest nightly, or I wonder if it's going to be flash custom firmware. I was hoping if you hit update latest nightly, it would just go to that, but it seems that there's some little bug here. It's trying to send the bytes, but I don't see anything else happening. And nothing is happening on the screen. So some kind of like load indicator may be useful in the future saying, and maybe that is already there. So maybe I'm speaking uh, too soon. So let's go ahead and try that again. Okay. Uh, what happens if we go back a page? All right. It does that. All right. So then now let's go to the HackerF app. This may be one of the things too that you have to reboot this device every single time uh, you're refreshing your page so and that's okay um that's expected all right so then let's go ahead and unplug that power this guy off connect usb micro there we go and then we should be able to, to connect to device now there we go connect connect loading loading all right we're loaded in we can see our screen so now if we go to manage firmware flash custom firmware what happens here all right so here is where you can download that firmware right and we're gonna go to downloads here is that nightly let me go over here first of all and uncompress that all right so we are now uncompressed decompressed right mayhem nightly go ahead and open up that guy and i think it looks like it actually go to that firmware uh file so remember there's that firmware file Maybe show options. What's that do? All files. There we go. Open. Open. Now let's see what happens. I'm not seeing anything over here and I don't see anything over here either. So unless if I'm doing something wrong, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Like I said, um, I don't think so. I mean, this should be kind of self-explanatory, right? Say you plug your device in, you don't want to have to eject the SD card, plug your device in as of 2.0. Uh, you got your cable going to your computer. You can then go to uh, select from the available option, right? So you have your stable, you have your nightly, and then you have your custom. You should be able to go to your area and then it looks like it possibly should be able then just to update your porter pack. Just to be on the safe side, we're gonna unplug it, let it boot back up. So yeah, we're still on 2.0, so nothing really happened. So that this might be a glitch. I mean, again, this is brand new uh, released as of, what, two days ago, three days ago now? Um, so there, there's still a few bugs to work out. And, and again, I am using Mac, so that could be an issue right there, uh, which I can report that, right? So let's just go here, report this issue. Um, okay, yeah, so yeah, it looks like there's still, there's already some um, uh, issues open regarding Mac. Um, so I'm not going to sense anything else as of yet. I will let them, yeah, there's a quite a few issues about Mac web app breezes. All right. So then this is being addressed. So I'm not going to worry about it for now. Um, again, this is all cutting edge. That's where we're at, but go check out 2.0. Um, awesome new features on there. I love the fact that you can change the color and the brightness. Now that's going to be really, really helpful, uh, for nighttime shooting, especially. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next video. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, do all the fun stuff because it really helps me out. I appreciate it.